Hoboken, top ten. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so where do you see yourself going after this with your movie? Um, and your talents. So you're very busy. <laughs> Lawyer. Yeah. Well, I actually did it because I want to get into television. What can you say about the Garden State Film Festival, being here in Atlantic City, and what it means to a filmmaker like yourself? Um, I've been here before. I love this festival. I love the people, and I love the energy. And they do a really amazing job. This show is called Catch the Laughter Bug. And to help us out, we have the world famous Laughing Yogi Yogi Manash Panda. Happy, happy, happy. I, I've been telling everybody about your laughing yoga and how infectious it is. Can you give us some laughter on demand? <laughs> This is your baby, and you're going to take it from conception to the end. And you have to insert yourself at every step. And the most amazing gift for me was when the director walked off set a bunch of times, and I panicked. But I stepped into the role after watching him, and I realized that the shots that I needed for the film in the shooting script were not getting done, because the DP was doing his own thing. And when I took control of the um, script and the DP and everything, I got everything I needed. And if I hadn't stepped into that role, and you have to get behind the camera as the creative person. You have to. Mm -hmm. Even if there's a director, when he walks away, you walk up to the DP, the director of photographer who's filming it, and you say, let me see what you got. Because you have to make sure that you've got the shots you need put it together. And I'm a lawyer, so I put a lawyer hat and I'm like, take charge, you know? Um, and you have to do that because you call the shots. Wait, wait, wait. This is a question. Sort of. This is a question for you because you do the research. And yeah. I don't I don't believe in they. But uh, <laughs> I believe in me. <laughs> and people who don't quit, I mean, there are very few people in the last mile. So people who are still running are bound to make it. You're picking between power and money. What would you pick? I'm going for both. You know, it's interesting. I think I would go with money. And here's why. I can make my own money. Powerful people can eventually get money. A powerful guy, like, he takes control of the situation, but he doesn't control you. Oh my god, the things these people are doing in their life, it's all philanthropy. And they're all, like, huge, huge hearts. You know, big money, big hearts. You have to believe it's there. You have to play into their role. You have to be the, the, the other side of that, which is powerful, smart, successful, sexy, and all the stuff you're teaching here. Like you have to be the other side of it so you attract it so that magnet comes to you. Like that. That's all that secret stuff. I, I'd stay and I'd listen some more. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it can exist, but you know, for better or worse is a conscious choice. You have to work at it. You should realize if you're if you're marrying the right guy before you walk down that aisle. I mean, you need to know if you're like manly in love or not. And if, if what you have can carry that marriage, respect, love, patience. Um, I know you're getting mad at me because <laughs> oh, I got a puke. <laughs> because reality bites, and that's how I feel about this. Okay, I'm gonna bite back. <laughs>